And a preacher used to come every Sunday preaching the gospel. I ain't know nothing about God. I ain't want to hear about God. I ain't care about God. All I wanted to do was get up out of there. But this man kept on coming in there. He was consistent and started telling me that the Lord loved me, that he can forgive me for my sins. And that word got in my heart. And I surrendered my life to the word of God. And I ain't been the same ever since. My mind was made up that I was gonna die in them streets. Never thought I'd be walking the streets preaching the gospel. And you can laugh all you want to, but I'ma tell you, one day Jesus is coming. And when you stand before him, my friend, the Bible says that you're gonna give account of your life. You better repent now and stop trying to please your homies, cause your homies ain't your homies when it get real. Jesus said, come to me. He said, come to me, all of you who weary and a heavy burden. The Lord said, I give you rest for your soul. I thank God on tonight. I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it changed my life. Jesus said, come tonight because you might not live to see tomorrow. Jesus said, come tonight. You might not live to see next week. The time is running out, people. You have an appointment with death. Your time is running out, and the Bible says in Hebrews 9.27, it's appointed unto man once to die, but after this comes the judgment. Come to Jesus Christ, I'm in the right place. I'm in the perfect place. You see, we can't wait till people walk up in the church no more. No, we gotta bring the church to the streets, those who ain't scared to. But see, we care about your soul. We love you, and that's why we out here to warn you to give your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. I know you might feel like you're living it up. You might feel like it's YOLO. You might think that this fun. But my friend, Jesus Christ is coming. And you gotta get serious with God. You gotta get serious with God. It ain't enough to just go to church every Sunday. It ain't enough to walk up in the church building screaming hallelujah, speaking in tongues, but cussing in English. No. God said in Revelation 3 that he's going to spit the lukewarm out of his mouth. We believe in God, but this is we not believe the Lord. In God. We believe in God. The Bible said that the demons believe, but ain't no salvation for them. You can believe, but you got to believe to the saving of your soul. Hallelujah. I've been free from sin. Who the Son set free is free indeed. And you can be free as well, man, if you surrender to Jesus. You get filled with the Holy Ghost. See, the Holy Ghost enables us to live holy. <laughs> the Holy Ghost enables us to live without sin. But people don't believe that today, do they, man? They don't believe we can live without sin. When the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 1, the angel told Joseph that you shall have a son named Jesus, and he shall take sin away from my people. He shall save my people from their sins, the Bible says. Jesus came to save us from our sin. Hallelujah. He didn't come to save you to proceed in your wicked ways. No. 